Hey guys, it's Riley and today we are going to the bins and what better day to go to the bins than a lousy rainy day. I don't really need to go to the bins, I just put in a large boutique by the box order which hopefully will be a new video but I figured might as well film a little bit at the bins, make it tomorrow's video, take that nice bin of clothes to kids buy sell trade, get a little cash, find some bread and butter that I only pay a dollar for. And so I will meet you guys there. I am actually about a half hour, 45 minute drive away with dropping off the kids clothes. So see you there. Okay, I just finished dropping off at Once Upon a Child. I only brought them one container today. So while I usually expect around uh, 60 to $80, today I'm thinking maybe 40. So I was just being lazy and didn't feel like packing a second one today. Anyway, on my drive over, I realized that it's spring break. <laughs> so the bins might be a little bit busy, which is not my favorite time to go when all the teenagers are there. But luckily, we're usually shopping for different things. We made it. Goodwill. <coughs> oh god, it looks super busy in there. I don't know if you can see the windows. Yes. Oh my gosh. There's that girl streaming. She's always streaming. And we have made it to the Romeoville, Illinois Goodwill Outlet location. If you did not know, this one opened in November 2023, and I live in the Chicago suburbs, so I used to have to drive up to Wisconsin to get to a bin, so it's much nicer to have this only a half hour away from my house. I found some items for buy, sell, trade, and then I found some Everlane jeans, but they had a lot of puckering, and oh yeah, the thigh was blown out, so those were total trash. And then, probably donated by the same person, were these Madewell jeans that were extremely puckered. No hole in the thigh, but it's still trash. So my plan for this video was actually just to do like a quick 10 to 15 minute bins vlog and then not film a haul for this but I found so much stuff. I actually found the most stuff I've ever found at this location before that I figured I have to film a haul so there will be a haul for this video hopefully next week. I mean I could make it the Friday video but I don't know. These bins were so full today. I think our uh, Illinois Wisconsin locations usually kind of pile up the bins. They're usually kind of hard to move around but they felt extra full today. I did find this good conditions Carter onesie to take two by sell trade and honestly I didn't find that much kid stuff today. Uh, coming up here look at this vintage well Y2K maybe Victoria's Secret tag. It was a nightgown so I did pick this up. Goodwill wanted eight dollars and it never sold. I have no idea how that will do. So in all my vlogs, I talk about how I pick up kids clothes to take to Once Upon a Child. What I'm looking for is really good condition kids clothes. This dress was cute, but it had a stain right there. So I won't pick up any kids clothes with any marks or anything to take to buy, sell, trade just because they're kind of picky. And if you're wondering how I do that, I take my cost of goods for the items I'm going to sell on Poshmark and average it out. And so I don't count a cost of goods for the kids items. I just throw it in a bin and I take it to Once Upon a Child and that is pure profit. Here is an old navy dress. I did pass on that one. I pick up some old navy, but that style was just not one that I thought would do super well. This this was interesting. I did end up finding the tag. There it is. And I looked it up and it wasn't doing too well. I found these old navy pixie jeans in a plus size. I did throw them in my cart because they were in good condition and when I first started reselling, maybe back in like, gosh, I started reselling in 2015, but this was maybe more like 2017. People are saying these actually did really well and I never really sold them. So I threw them in my cart. I'm like, maybe they'll still do well since they're plus size, but I ended up throwing them back because I just didn't want to deal with it and I found a lot of other stuff. Here is a rotation going on. I sometimes line up for rotations, but I was happy with the bin I was looking through and I did wander over over there after like it cleared out maybe five ten minutes later I found this Nike tee and I threw it in my cart for buy sell trade but it just had a little bit of wash wear and they're pretty picky with the tees they take and when I say buy sell trade I mean like crossroads and uh what's the other one Buffalo Exchange I saw the logo hardware and knew this was Athleta this is a very old piece as you can tell by the tag I was looking for the size and it is a size 10 I believe but this was a pretty substantial skirt and I still pick up old Athleta at the bins when it's like shorts or pants but like not leggings I'll pass on old leggings usually I made my way over to that new rotation I saw this print sticking out I had to know what it was it was just Mossimo Target but I actually grabbed this for buy sell trade because I thought they might buy it for summer just based off this print so wish me luck hopefully they take that from me because probably have to redonate it if they don't want it 
I saw this Calvin Klein tag peeking out and I was hoping it was a dress because that's really the only thing I pick up from Calvin Klein these days and it was a dress and it was actually in pretty good condition. There was just a little spot that will rub out. I thought this cart was hilarious because that's what my cart usually looks like and it actually wasn't my cart, it was someone else's. I found these two kids, Janie and Jack pieces, and the resale value on this kind of compares to Hannah Anderson or Mini Bowden, which are two brands I will also list myself on Poshmark. I did end up throwing the dress back just because there was a little spot and lots of wash wear. I threw that in my cart for buy, sell, trade, but then I noticed later there was just some flaws to the stitching, so I ended up throwing it back. I thought this was so funny. A bunch of kids clothes in this bin were from this kids consignment sale, which I have participated in before. Uh, before I, I mean, I've taken stuff to Once Upon a Child in the past, but then a couple years ago, I was like, we, maybe I can get more if I sell it myself in kids consignment and sale. And it was a lot of work and I definitely did not make more. So I just go to Once Upon a Child. I love picking up bras in the bins. I was very happy to find this Victoria's Secret bra. Here I'm showing you one tip for checking bras. If the clasps have little to no wear, like you see here, it probably wasn't worn very much. And that's a good indication that it's a nice clean bra to pick up. There was another piece from that. Uh, sale that I've done in the past and it was all stained up. I can't believe someone tried to sell that. That was just trash. I grabbed these Lee shorts for uh, buy, sell, trade, adult buy, sell, trade, almost said once upon a child. I found a piece of glass in the bins and I threw it on the ground under the bin. Maybe there was a better spot for it. I could have gone up and given it to someone, but would you have done that? Maybe you're a better human than I. <laughs> I'm just showing you to say be careful when you're digging because there can be broken glass in the bins. I actually found a pair of Spanx in the bins. Here they are. They're size medium and they're the faux leather like patent ones. Now I was checking the legs because this patent does tend to wear off in spots as you can kind of see, but it was still in relatively good condition. So I did pick those up. I know people have been saying Spanx has been going downhill, but in the bin, size medium I'll still pick them up and give them a chance and undercut everybody on the price and hopefully move them fast so after this I walked over to the shoe bins and had like two minutes there and then they decided to rotate and guys I did not film the beginning of the rotation which I'm so glad because I found a very special pair of shoes and I don't know if I would have got them if I was trying to film but shoe rotations are crazy I'm sure you know at your bins I'm sure they're also crazy so if you saw in the thumbnail I found a pair of of Rothy's and that's actually the pair of shoes when I was standing waiting for the rotation it was the bin next to me on the edge they rolled out and I saw them right on top Rothy's there was a guy right in front of them next to me and I did the rude thing they said go I reached across and grabbed them but I noticed he wasn't going for them or else I would have you know let him have them since it was right in front of them but there was it was funny there was a pair of one single green Timberland that was on the very edge of the boot everybody boot bin everybody was trying to grab it and it was a single and everybody was walking around looking for that green timberland i think they ended up finding it because i didn't see it as a single in the bin so at this location i don't love the guys who rotate out the bins i'm sure there's some fine ones but when we were all standing waiting for them to roll in the new bins they were rolling out the last one some guy goes i'm about to bring you guys out a bunch of nice books and everybody was standing there like wait books this is not what we're lining up for and they rolled out shoes so uh yeah the employees like not the ones at the cashier uh the cash register people yeah those guys are nice but the guys who rotate the bins i've heard them say questionable things if you've seen any of my other videos i grabbed this woven basket for i keep wanting to say once upon a child for like buffalo exchange crossroads but then when i was sorting i noticed there was just like a little damage on the back of it so i did leave that behind unfortunately because it was cute i was so happy to find some bogs bogs are like bread and butter bin shoes for me. I almost always leave with a pair of bogs, so happy to find those. Uh, these were some very interesting cowboy boots, and if you did not know, cowboy boots can be worth a lot of money, so if you find a nice looking pair, I totally would look them up. I found this coach boot, and I only ever found that one. I never found the mate to it, or else I would have taken it with me, even though it was an older style. I'm sure they still had resale value. I would say this is a more obscure shoe bolo brand. I don't know how to say the name, so if you want to take a look at the screen, here is the logo Polydium or something. Uh, their boots can definitely sell for like 
35 and over. So I was happy to find those. They will need a clean up, but most shoes I grab at the bins need a clean up, but I don't mind cleaning shoes. Guys, I found this single new with tag Sorel boot. They only wanted $15 at Goodwill and I was heartbroken. I'm like, there's no way the mate to the shoe is in the bin. I would have paid $15 for these at Goodwill, but I threw it in my cart anyway, hoping to come across it. And then I found these Patagonia moccasins. I was super glad to find these. To my knowledge, Patagonia no longer makes shoes. So those are an older pair and they can be more sought after by people who want to wear Patagonia shoes. If you haven't seen any of my other videos before at the bins or you couldn't tell yet, I totally lose it in the shoes. I was easily in the six shoe bins for over an hour. I touched every single pair hoping to find all my singles and I think this day I only threw back one or two. I found this single made well and I also, that Ralph Lauren I just showed you, I grabbed that as a single and I found both those mates luckily. Here I saw a shoe, you guys may see it in think it is what I thought it is. I thought it was a Sorel, but immediately upon touching the quality and not seeing the branding on the bottom, I knew it was a fake Sorel. It was just, you know, based off the exact same style that Sorel makes. I was trying to see what the brand was, but I gave up because I couldn't. And later I found the match and it was actually Sonoma. Here I found this Steve Madden pair. I like selling Steve Madden. I am slightly more picky in the bins with which styles I think will do well, but that boot is a style I think will do well. It's very funny. Everybody was obsessed with that single green Timberland when I found a nice pair of blue Timberlands tied together. So I didn't even have to look. I was like, are these authentic? Why did everybody leave them? Um, I didn't see the size right away. So that could be why, uh, but I don't mind selling shoes without a size. If they don't actually have one, I'll just measure. While in the shoe section of the bins, I do look for shoes to take to Once Upon a Child, but I'm very selective with what I grab for them because my locations are pretty selective with what they take. They say they don't have to be in like very good condition, but they always pass on any of the shoes I take them that aren't in excellent condition. And one thing I've done many a times is I forget to check to see if they have a size because Once Upon a Child will not take shoes that don't have a size. Guys, I have ADHD, so I got distracted while going to get another cart and had to peek through some clothing bins. But no worries, we make it back over to the shoes. And I found these play shoes. They were pretty beat, um, but I got them anyway because they weigh like nothing. So hopefully I can make like four or five bucks on those. Here is my other cart and it is time to start short sorting all my shoes and figure out which ones are singles. Oh, those are mine. They uh, fell out of my cart, I guess. As I'm thinking about the amount of shoes I got and clothes, I'm thinking I might have to split this haul video into two parts, shoes and clothing. I accidentally got a shot of my face here and if you you're an Ots baby, this probably brings back some memories. I loved the Backyardigans. I found this super beat Rebecca Minkoff purse. It was a bummer because the leather was actually in good condition, but this lining was like all cut out. So I did leave that behind because I did not want to take on a project for a purse that's not that popular anymore. And now it's time to sort my shoes. The first pair, I'm glad I checked over pretty well because the toe was peeling on those Merrill boots. So I did have to throw those back. If they were in good condition, I think those could have been easily $35. They just needed some leather conditioner. I found these funky cowboy boots. As I said, cowboy boots can do well. I was looking for the size on them and finally I found it. It was a 35. I'm gonna probably tag those like Coachella, Boho, that kind of music festival stuff. I'm making a pile of singles here for stuff I need to look for. And then I found these Clarks. Uh, actually the only pair of Clarks I left with this day. So I grabbed these right when the rotation happened. I didn't see a brand on them, but they looked like nice leather. The brand was actually called Tulips, like L-I-P-S. And uh, well, the brand, it doesn't do that well. Literally, I searched solds on Poshmark and the first sold was that exact style of boots for $35. And if I scrolled down a little bit, the boots do seem to sell 25 to 35. So I did grab those ones. So at the time, I was not 100% sure these Rothy's were authentic because they did not have a size on the bottom sole of the shoe, but the label all checked out and I posted on my Instagram asking people what they thought. And my friend Lindsay actually told me that Rothy's used to only have a size dot sticker on the bottom. So that makes sense. And I'm fairly confident they are authentic and will be selling them. Just thought I'd grab a quick clip of behind the bins, the warehouse, and there's just so much stuff to go around. Don't ever worry about there not being enough. This brand I'd actually just learned this day. It was called Lake. It's a nice pajama brand and 
so I was happy to find those. I liked this Mac Studio like tunic top, but this brand just does not sell. So I did leave that one behind. And this was one of my favorite finds of the day, a new with tags, Wilfred cardigan. This kind of stuff I do not usually find in my bins. And it was at Goodwill. I would have picked that up at Goodwill 100%. This brings us to the end of the video and it is time to sort my two ginormous carts full of stuff and I actually did end up taking most of it home. I stayed at the bin still closing and I have never done that at this location and I also spent $225 on the dot. You can see someone back there, an employee closing up. Um, I spent $225 and I have also never done that at this location. I've always been under $200. So it was great that it was a good day at the bins, but bad for me because now I have to process stuff that I don't have time to process, but I did it to myself. So it looks like I'm continuing to work overtime this week, 10 hour days. <laughs> um, I'm just, I have no self-control, which is why I just can't come here. Uh, but now we're going to go pick up the Once Upon a Child by, they close in less than an hour. So hopefully we can make it over there. Alrighty, so I picked up from Once Upon a Child. I made $39 and some change, which is the $40 I was expecting. And guess what I did? I bought an item. <laughs> uh, literally, just like right by the cash register while I was waiting for her to give me my cash. I found this little Hannah Anderson adorable thing in amazing condition. Um, I do sell kids clothes, usually when I pick them up at the bins, but uh, Hannah Anderson's decent. They had it priced at $3.50, which is less than Goodwill would have priced it at. Um, so, I mean, I just applied my trade to that. We are here at the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me. Feel free to leave your thoughts, comments down below, and I will see you guys in another video soon. Goodbye.